Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, give him glory, give him glory. We got to give him glory all the time. Praise God, praise God. Okay, well, if you see my message, so many people have contacted me and asked me, um, I believe witchcraft is, and to be honest with you, that's all they're using these days. You can say what you want to say. You can play with them if you want to play with them. Let me tell you something, and I'm going to try to slow myself down because this is a subject I hate with all with every fiber of my body and i'm gonna tell you why i grew up in it and what i mean by that is i never practiced it but it was always around me i'm from louisiana and i'm gonna tell you the truth and, and look don't nobody get offended if you get offended go to god because that's the foundation of louisiana witchcraft i don't care what nobody say i didn't know that till i moved to california the truth be told because i had so much hell in me i didn't sense it i didn't know what was going on all i know is it it was just evil them people was evil yeah i said it i ain't scared of none of you <laughs> come on somebody hallelujah so i'm gonna slow myself down because i have a lot of um a lot of information for you guys but i'm gonna start with the basis whenever you can feel it all right you are not crazy our senses you know i'm gonna tell you what the enemy of king He's got everybody on an intelligent tip until they don't understand their spirit. And I was once that way. You know, you go to college, you do what you got to do. And if you ask anybody, I've always been extremely smart. But I'm going to be honest with you. That's why God says, except you be as little children. You have to, everything that the world taught you, when you come to God, you got to dismiss that. And I'm just being real. I'm not saying like totally because you may use it in some aspects of life. But for the most part, the spirit must be stronger than your mind. The spirit must be stronger than intelligence. When you allow intelligence to run your spirit, then you are off track. I don't care what you say. Yeah, you sound intelligent. But let me tell you something, your spirit will always outweigh everything so i'm um try to slow it down because i know a lot of people th this is a subject that is probably going to go on forever and ever and ever but anyway let me tell y'all something there is witches there are witches let me do it right <laughs> there are witches there are warlocks as a matter of fact that's who run the world ephesians 6 spiritual wickedness in high places what high places you think you're talking about you ain't talking about just just the devil he's talking about in high they run the world he is the god of this world that's why I just like he I'm gonna try to slow this thing down so I can give you a whole foundation when he tested Jesus he said he took him on the pinnacle the Bible says and he says that when he said they said if you fall down and worship me I will give you all the glory and the kingdoms thereof because they're mine God allowed him to be God of this world so that is why he run things I don't care what you say people get mad when I say this but I'm gonna say it. you can't be a high let me let me be real with you you can't be a millionaire and billionaire and, and not alliance with Satan I don't care what you say I'm sorry I don't care I, and I'll show you scripturally come from me come on I can show you so you somebody lying that's why God says in over 12 to 13 scriptures we're not of this world separate yourself be transformed by the renewing of your mind why does he keep saying that because he doesn't want you to be caught up in this world system the world system is a slavery system is a demonic system so let's do this thing the worship and seeking of supernatural powers other than god has been around since the beginning satan has used witchcraft to prevent people from finding holy spirituality and god alone he uses witchcraft such as mediums horoscopes and games to entice people away from god and to walk the power that gives self enlightenment now y'all understand why all this self-worth and i'm a god and uh, now y'all starting to understand what the, it's always to step you away from god but we were made for the creator come on somebody walk with me the bible speaks often of the consequences of following false idols and falsehood now, what we're going to do is I'm going to read some scriptures, and you can write them down. First Chronicles 10, 13, or you can look them up. Saul died because he was unfaithful to the Lord. He did not keep the word of the Lord and even consulted a medium. You remember when he uh, went to that witch? Now, he had, just, uh, he had just banished all the witch, no more witchcraft. But then when the Lord left him, oh, come on, somebody, I'm talking to some people. When you get mad at God, you go seek on other things. I'm going to go to the hill. I'm going to go to this. All right, whatever. You better find out who they are. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 33, 6 says, He sacrificed his children in the fire of the valley of Ben-Hanan, practiced divination and witchcraft, sought omens and consulted mediums and spiritualists. He did much evil in the eyes of the Lord, arousing his anger. Leviticus 19.31 says, Do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritualists, for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Anything you touch that's unclean, once you go, let me tell you something. 
This not this even talking about churches. Some of y'all go under these people or even on these Facebook lives. So let me tell you something. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. The power of God has to resonate so deep into you that you're like a radar. Soon as you sense something, and I'm telling you right now, I know when people are in the midst of me. <coughs> if you're not strong, I'm gonna scare you. I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna scare you. And it's not that I'm trying to. I'm very sensitive to the spirit. That means that if I see something, I might turn around. If I hear something, I, and, and it's just, it's not trying to be spooky or whatever you want to call it. It's sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. Watch it now. Look at them now. Let me tell you something. The first time you enter witchcraft, the first thing you're going to do is get a headache. Another thing, I'm going to tell y'all everything that God told me. So all of you that's listening, share. And let me tell you something. If you don't follow these things, that's on you. Because these people are not playing. <clears throat> that's why I was telling y'all, stop eating out. You notice you'll start gagging. Or you'll start coughing. <clears throat> Pretty much like even now. You see all of a sudden I started coughing. Some, I bet you two to one, they got a witch or a medium on here. Trying to send word curses. Trying to trip me up. Y'all don't understand. Which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I'm going to tell you something else. This talk scare people. <coughs> you know why it's scam? Because they scared. <laughs> Just that simple. They scared. But I'm gonna tell you something. This is how you not you, you don't be scared. You can you can combat witchcraft by getting in your word. I don't have my anointing all. It's, 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 it's around here, trust me. Anointing yourself daily. Speak into that situation. Luke 10, 19. I have given you all power over the enemy. You don't know your power? The enemy, let me tell you something. He has no power. God has given you authority. We have to return to our spiritual authority. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. And if you feel like somebody have done something, you send that thing back. Father God, like, like I felt something just now. You know, I started coughing. Tell the truth. I wasn't coughing before. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, any witch or warlock on here or looking abroad, come on, somebody, you know the people probably watching, let's be real. I speak it back to them. I send it back to them sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray there, Daniel prayers and David prayers. I don't play. I don't play. I don't play because the Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Nobody playing. Y'all sitting up there playing with these demons, and that's why they're taking over the church. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So, the first thing I want y'all to know, I don't even use a brush in my hair no more. And I'm going to tell you why. I remember when I was in Sacramento, my brush, you know, the toothbrush, the brush part of it start missing. Like somebody was taking like two or three of them. I said, wait a minute. And so I threw away that brush. I say, I would, and I, I'm, t t I'm telling you, it's been years since I use, I just use a comb and I just use gel. If I got to lay down, so I'm just being real with you because a comb, I take off the hair. I'm telling you what God told me. You ain't got to do nothing if you don't want to, but if you want to combat because we have a real enemy, you got to do what it takes. Cause I'm going to tell you the first thing too. Y'all lazy. Y'all don't want to do what it takes in order to come against the kingdom of darkness. You're going to have to do what it takes. So anyway, God have told me what I do is I, I flush my hair. And then to be honest with you, I put a little noni oil on the paper, on the toilet paper, whatever I wrap it in, which is mostly toilet paper. And I say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, any any demon try to find this hair and put curses on it, I render it not and void. Oh, don't take all that. Okay, whatever. Keep leaving your hair around. That's what they use. And everything that I'm saying, I, I dare you to go and Google it. Or better yet, just ask God. They, they they use hair as the number one, the number one thing. Because why? This is where you're anointing at. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. The head. Come on, somebody, your anointing rests on the head. So let me continue. I anoint myself on my top of my head and the bottom of my feet every day. I pray over my ears. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I only hear your voice and a stranger's voice I will not succumb to. You have to pray over yourself. You know, a lot of you say, well, I feel like witchcraft has been on me. Can I tell you something? Our generations, our ancestors, they did a lot of stuff. And yes, they made deals with the devil, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry. I'm not saying everybody, but them people did some stuff because they didn't know God like they know God. If you really look at your Bible, the first part of these generations, the first, second generation, they knew God real well. The third generation, they swayed from God. The fourth generation and the fifth generation coming up, don't know God. Come on, somebody. Quit playing with me up in here. Y'all know they don't know God. 
too much sexual immorality. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Which these days was to come. The apostasy. What is that? That means they have sent ministers of Satan into the church. Now they're running the churches. That's why you see a decline in the um, altar calling. You see a decline. As a matter of fact, they the ones started the prosperity um, message. When they started the prosperity message, what happened? Not been in here. I'm not in here, but now he want to say, oh, God is tired of it. God was tired of it when it got started. Because as soon as the pro prosperity message came in, so the, they took off the robes. So now, let me tell you why we're supposed to wear robes. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I ask God this. Because the robe was a covering. When you see a man of God, I'm, I'm going somewhere. This is all part of it. I'm going somewhere with this. When you see a man or a woman of God in a robe, you say, that's a man or woman of God. But what you don't understand is the spirit of the Lord rest up on that robe. So they, the first thing they did is try to take away the robes. And they did. And they put a suit on. Now it's business as usual. It's no longer ministry. Come on, somebody. Now you have 2% that's still wear the robes come on somebody so the first thing they brought that spirit of prosperity every spirit comes with another spirit you're never just fighting one spirit like the spirit of gluttony there's greed there's selfishness selfishness there's low self-esteem come on somebody so you're never just dealing with one spirit so the best way to combat witchcraft fasting and i'm gonna be real with you fasting and praying they'll go hand in hand because how can you spot it if you're not clear to hear you have to be clear to hear God. Something's not right. And let me tell you something. They're always trying to penetrate your spirit. You know, I told y'all to look at the movie Fallen. When Denzel Washington is by touch. I don't like everybody touching me. I'm not trying to be funny. Now, you notice in church they say, oh, hug five neighbors, touch three neighbors. I stopped doing that when I noticed stuff was happening. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going home and I'm feeling weird. That means something is being transferred. I'm just telling the truth up in here, up in here. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Then y'all wearing stuff, and I'm not trying to be funny when I say this. If you go to the Goodwill, there are spirits on clothes. Wash the clothes first, and this is what I do. Everything I buy and everything I wear, I'm not kidding. I, I have some anointing all on my hand. I take a little, I probably could see it. It's probably shiny. I take a little bit. And, and I just, I'm sorry. I got to pray over everything. Y'all not praying over y'all food. Y'all not praying over y'all clothes. You're not praying over your possessions, your car. Let me tell y'all something. And I'm very serious. These people will break in your place and put something down. If they, they feed witchcraft. Why y'all think, let's, let's go here. We're going here today. Why do y'all think the food tastes um, funny now? Y'all think they're just putting GMOs in it? I'm about, to, I'm about to mess some of you up. I try not to eat anything too much red because I don't know if there's blood in it. Let me tell y'all something. We're living in a wicked world and it's getting wickeder. Y'all don't notice everything is decreasing. The taste in the food, it don't even taste right no more. I was eating a watermelon the other day, right? And it melted in my mouth, literally. I said, nah, I know watermelon is soft, but it ain't supposed to melt in your mouth. Y'all don't understand. Now, I'm not talking about just what you think I'm talking about. Pharmacaya. GMO, what is that? Drugs, pharmacia. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm learning something. You're not supposed to take your medicine. You're supposed to eat your medicine. That's why in the first set of the um, Bible, God had given man nuts and grains as their diet. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. We weren't supposed to eat meat. Come on, somebody, y'all know it. Y'all know it because he said don't eat anything with the blood. Oh, you know how humans do it. That's under the old law. But I'm telling you something. Isn't it all coming back around? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because now, ever since people started eating meat, you got different diseases now. You got, come on, somebody, take me. I'm walking with you on this journey, hallelujah. Because we're talking about witchcraft. Come on, somebody. Now, I know you say you, you pray over stuff and it's supposed to be clean. But wait a minute. So are you saying that the Old Testament is not as good as the New Testament? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Well, I got something for you, too. Because I figured some of you would say that, even though you're not technically saying it. I could hear it in the Spirit. So let, let's, I got some, um, hold on. Revelation 21.8. It says, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexual immoral. Now, he named all those. Those who practice magic arts, what do you think it is? GMO, cloning people. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all think it's just a game? The magic arts is the same thing. Just like they line up people talking about aliens coming. That is demons. That is demons. The Bible talks about terrestrial 
bodies. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But they have to conjure up all this for when the time comes that the rapture, and I truly believe there will be a rapture. A lot of people don't believe. Yes, I do. Because the revelation said that Jesus will be coming on a horse. Come on, somebody. And we'll be caught up with him. I go scripture. I go biblical applications. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me continue. It says, the idolatries and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. Come on, somebody. So when you die, when we all die, that's the first death. Come on, somebody. Now let's go to Galatians 5, 19 through 20. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality. Why do you think the seduction of music? Oh, we talking about witchcraft, baby. The seduction of music. I stopped listening to that stuff. You know, back in the day when we, that's why people made so much babies in the 70s and the 80s. Y'all acting like Luther didn't go, woo, woo, woo. come on, somebody. I, I know I'm crazy, but I'm telling the truth. We was all woo, woo, woo. You know it's the truth. I'm talking about Marvin Gaye. Everybody was sexual healing. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. But, the, and so it was the, ba that's why they call 80s the boomy. They knew what music to do. Each culture, and I'm starting to realize this. Each culture, each time frame, they knew what music to induce. So in the 80s, they wanted more babies. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on. 90s. Now we're in 2019. What type of music? Violent. Kill, kill, kill. Guns. Calling women bees. That's all witchcraft. Because it's sexual immorality. As a matter of fact, even the sexual, it, notice you can't even turn on the TV without have them having sex. You got little kids cursing. You remember they didn't used to curse. What is a curse word? Come on, I'm breaking this thing all the way down today. What is a curse word? <laughs> yeah, you got it on. Huh? Y'all think this is a game? So every time you curse, you're actually cursing somebody. Yourself. How could a woman call her own self the B word? You are cursing yourself, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. I know you don't like this. Well, hallelujah. Micah 5, 10 to 12 says, In that day, declares the Lord, I will destroy your horses from among you and demolish your chariots. I will destroy the cities the cities of your land and tear down all the strongholds. I will destroy your witchcraft and you will no longer cast spells. Now I'm about to go here. Power. Um, what was that other one? Come on. Um, all those, those shows. Empire. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Why do you think that people love it so much? I'm telling you now, this is when I was in Hollywood. I know they do this. They sit up there and they pray over the reel. There's a real movie reel, just like the old ones, because in, that's how they still do it in the uh, movie theaters. They they put their hood on and they cast spells. And I'm telling you, when you look at it, it makes you just oh, addicted. It's just like an addiction. Well, it's the same thing with the kids, with the um, electronics. Y'all don't notice they did a um they did a they did some lives with these little babies. You give them a phone or you give them a tablet, and and they start crying. I truly believe that they've put something even in the computer. You notice people. I don't know if you notice even looking at a computer screen, your eyes will start watering. You guys, it's called chemical warfare, which is spiritual witchcraft. Come on, somebody. Y'all think this a game? That's why the Bible says, guard your eyes, guard your ears. I have not technically owned a television since, oh, Lord. I think 2015 or 2016. If God want me to look at something, I have Netflix downloaded to my computer, and I also have Preflex. I do not own a television. I don't think I ever will. I'm sorry, because I want to monitor what I watch. It's that deep. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm telling you what God, y'all not going to like what God said. I'm telling you, you're not going to like it. God says the church and people have gotten lazy to where we don't want to do what God wants us to do to combat witchcraft. So what you doing? And I'm, I'm going to take you on a journey because you got to see this whole thing. The years of slavery have never ended. They just do it all around the way. Okay. If you go into every subdivision, do you know it looks like a prison? Go, have, have you ever been in prison? Have you ever visited a prison? Look like a pod. It's the same thing. I'm, I'm about to walk you down this whole thing. Notice they want us to go to school from first to eighth grade, training us. Then from eight to 12 or nine to 12, training us, institutionalized. So hold on. At the same time, parents are working two jobs where they can't even raise their children. So now they did all that and even changed the economy to where now parents cannot be at home. So now the, their cho they're raising the children. Oh, yeah, it's all a system. It's all slavery, baby. I'm going to bring it back to you in a minute. So now you got people working two jobs, tired. What do you do when your body is tired? You're looking for a release. Smoking, drinking, having sex, going to casinos. 
Oh, didn't they make it easy for you? Because now we've worked you like a dog. So now we want you to entertain all that money that you worked for. We're going to take it another way. Credit. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere because this all witchcraft is part of a system, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all think it's a game? And then guess what? You end up being a sex addict, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, a drug addict. Oh, I'm going to get you so much carpal tunnel, even just working on a computer. Then you got to go have surgery. And what happens? You get on pain pills. Oh, come on, somebody. Walk with me. It's all witchcraft. I'm going to get you one way. Oh, I'm going to get you this way. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Oh, I'll make you, I'll give you that six figure, but you'll never be home to spend it. You won't have the time with your children. That way we can take your wife and your children and, and we can have them commit adultery. Or we can have the kids go kill somebody, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Y'all don't understand what's happening here. A whole system, bro. A whole game being playing. The Matrix. <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me. Witchcraft in the highest form. But making us think, the American dream. Well, I don't know about you. It ain't been no dream. It's been a nightmare. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You wonder why you're overworked, tired, and still can't do what you're supposed to do for God. Y'all don't understand? I'm going come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's the federal system. I'm going to oppress them. I'm going to suppress them. I'm going to depress them so bad until they go into another form of slavery. Don't you understand? It's still a federal system, which is witchcraft. Because what they do is they play on a high level of your sensitivity of your mind and your body. You got people in jobs that don't even want to be there. And now here's the system that God is getting ready to try to do. God is trying to pull people out the system. So he's sending people like me and others and saying, come out of the federal system and get under God's system. And I'm going to tell you how. Did Abraham have to work? And we're under the, co the covenant of Abraham, right? Did Abraham have to work? No. Let me tell you the difference between a job and work, and it's all witchcraft. God never gave you a job. He did say Adam would have to work. Do you know the work is your ministry? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Different levels, different levels. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here today. So now you got people that are trying to work their way into heaven by a job. When God never gave you that, God gave you a work to do for him. Y'all don't know this, uh, and I'm going to use myself. Yes, I love cooking. It's a therapy to me. I ain't lying. I just be chopping. The, they say something wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> but notice lately, I haven't really put any food up, huh? I feel a shift. I feel a shift. I say, God, what are you saying? Because whatever. If you want me to give up being Chef Didi, done. If you don't want me to do this, done. If you want me to do this, done. Because let me tell you something. Your career and your calling will always clash. <laughs> keep living if you don't believe me and you'll feel it but you're too busy you don't depend on God oh come on somebody that's the art of witchcraft what they do you depend on that job more than you depend on God so now you see the system of Satan he wants you to depend on going clock in and out instead of being an entrepreneur he wants you to depend on medicine so you can calm down. You have anxiety, which I would be in the name of Jesus. All of a sudden, stress, and the kids have ADD. How come when we was growing up, we had no ADD, BDD, or none of that? We just had a belt, and it got us in line. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Witchcraft in the highest form. Mental control, which are mind-binding demons. Another form of witchcraft. So how do you get rid of witchcraft? How do you stop this? You got to go back to God. T.D. Jakes taught us that years ago. And I was in L.A. at Bishop Noah Jones Church. You always go to go back to the beginning. What did God say? And then trust God. You got to fast. You got to pray. You got to anoint yourself. Now, it's very simple to stop witchcraft. You got to fast till it breaks. You got to pray till it breaks. Most of you don't, don't want to do it. Y'all are fast about three or four days and then I'm hungry. Let me tell you something. In that Bible, they showed us. We fast how long God says to fast. Y'all notice I'm always going on a fast. That's because it's God. It's, I, I'm not that great, trust me. Because the level of warfare that we're fighting, we need to hear God. That's how you break it. You got to hear what God said to do. God may tell you, Joshua, God may tell you to go around the building seven times. Y'all sitting up there looking in books and, uh, and trying to find Dr. Oz and everybody else to try to, for problems that only God can solve. Because each problem is different. 
a different edge. So, so God is going to tell you to do something different than he tell me. That's how you break it. You got to be obedient to what God said. God said, may, may, may go on a 40-day fast, a 7-day fast, a 3-day fast. Touch not the unclean thing. You usually drink this, don't drink this. You usually do this, don't do this, don't go there. Y'all wondering why, and then y'all trust people so easily. I'm sorry, you got to test the spirit by the spirit. Too many people getting too close to y'all too fast. I don't care if they got money, if they nice. Why are you being so nice to me? Now, I know people nice, but why are you being so nice to me? You don't know me. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. You got to test the spirit by the spirit. Some of you, just because of, oh, thank you, Lord, I hear you. <laughs> and that's how the church get full. Somebody come with a million dollars. They blessed, they blessed. Whole warlock. Y'all ain't ready. A whole warlock or a whole witch. But because they got money and y'all are fall for it all the time, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. All money ain't good money. All covenants are not good covenants. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When Gehazi and, and um, Elijah, when he actually cured Naaman, Naaman tried to offer him some. He said, I don't want nothing from you because the Lord told him don't take nothing from Naaman because everything he had was cursed. So don't take nothing. Now his servant going to run and say, you know, and, and that, that was a test for his servant and he failed it. He ran behind and, and took it. He said, my master said to give it to me. So when he came back, God told Elijah, he said, the leprosy that was on him going to come up on you. Y'all ain't ready for what I'm saying, huh? Some of y'all are taking stuff from something somebody God never told you to. Or in alliance with somebody that God never told you to. I don't mind using myself as a um, transparent witness. When, you remember when I told y'all, and I I was so excited, the guy with the restaurant. Man, about three days, I say something wrong. I don't, I say something's wrong. And I found out what it was. I ain't going to never put nobody out 100% unless God tells me to. But it was just all wrong. And I don't know what they were doing. I don't want to know. How about that? But I know I had to sever that. Everything look good, it's not good. Everything look like God, it's not God. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the enemy will send things and people into your life to distract you, to destroy you, to deploy you. <laughs> because they want you on their side. Y'all ain't ready for me. You're supposed to, you, thank you Lord, I hear you. If I leave my drink by somebody I don't know, I'm throwing it away. I'll be, be honest with you, sometimes by people I do know. Especially if they're looking all crazy. What you looking crazy for? And I'm just coming around the corner. What you scared for? What you did? Don't worry. I'm going to throw it away anyway. Y'all sitting up there drinking stuff. Y'all not praying and y'all not watching. You got to be watchful. Let me tell you how they do. Y'all know I used to be in the street, so I know what I'm talking about. They'll have a pill in their hand. And why you not looking? So quick and make your head spin. <laughs> y'all think it's a game. I saw people getting date raped, which I would be the name of Jesus. All of it is witchcraft. Ooh, that's good, God. Even putting on makeup to wear a per where you look like a different person. Witchcraft. Now you're fooling men. Adding stuff to your body. Witchcraft. Anything that's unnatural is witchcraft. Okay, what nobody say? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's why you gotta test the spirit by the spirit, people. This stuff real. This stuff real. Seems like they were carding me or something because my thing keeps stopping. Well, all right, you guys. Woo! I feel it. I feel it up in here. I'm telling you right now. Organic fruits and vegetables. Actually, I got to... Uh, I didn't know I was going to do it on here. I guess God want me to tell y'all. Um, I'm going vegan. I can't do it no more. I, um, you don't even understand what I'm saying. I don't... Chef DD is not even going to be cooking meat no more. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I will not be able to serve what I don't eat. I, I, I just... I've always been real, you guys. I know I'm not, you know, like... All that or whatever, but I got to keep it 100. I was like that when I was in the street. I'm going to keep it 100 with God. I can't do it. So I'm going vegan. So now I got to teach myself how to. I know some meals, but I got to totally cook vegan. I, I, I want to help people. I don't want to hurt nobody. How can I feed you spiritually and then tell you up naturally? For some money? For some. Man, I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. So my whole life getting ready to change again. I'm like, okay, God, whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's not about me. Don't y'all understand? And yes, it's hard. That's what God was talking about. You're in training. So now, you're going to train for two people. Either the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of God. Which one you repping for real? Because both of them are going to bring it to you. Both of them. Do you know that Satanists exercise more than Christians? And apply scriptures more than Christians? <laughs> you tell me what's up with that picture. We got to start getting strong in the Lord. All right, so, excuse me, and another thing, too, 
all these kids, all people that's disappearing. Y'all got to be praying over your, your city, your state, and be watchful. Let me tell you what God told me to do the other day, too, and I'm telling them, so now they're going to hear for real, because you know people be up on here listening. Um, start looking at all, um, like, let's say, le license plates. Just in case you see somebody get abducted or whatever, remember the last four. They can they could track something for the last four or three, just to be honest with you. I know you don't know that. But you got to just start paying attention, God says. I'm not, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I get tired of people saying that. Nobody's trying to put you fear. God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. I am so disappointed in the body of Christ right now because y'all rather pretend than to be. You got to be who God have called you to be. And yes, it is going to cost you your life. Like literally. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Stop being weak minded. Stop being all oh, jelly belly. Don't want to do what God said to do. Because here's the deal. What I learned in my disobedient stage. You're going to go around the mountain. Go around the mountain. And still come back and do what he said to do. So, you know, who you really playing yourself. Whew. So, all right, y'all. God bless y'all. And, um, you know, you just.